What's up, everybody? Welcome to week two of the NFL season and the FanDuel Hurry Up. I'm Brandon Gadula, managing editor at numberfire.com, and I'm going to be talking about my three favorite stacks for the week two main slate. The stack I'll be starting with has a slight variation option, but the main stack is Justin Herbert and Keenan Allen of the Chargers. The over-under for their matchup against the Cowboys is 55 and a half on FanDuel Sportsbook, highest of the slate, with a tight spread of three points. It's basically tailor-made for a game to load up on. Herbert last week went for 337 yards on a strong 8.2 yard average depth of target, about a half yard uh, deeper than the NFL average. He also threw 13 times to number 13, Keenan Allen, good for a 28% target share. Allen also had four red zone targets as well. And in total, uh, Allen had the seventh most, most expected fantasy points among receivers in week one based on my model. We also can go with Mike Williams if we want uh, at a salary of 5,600 a full $1,800 less than Allen's salary. Williams had 12 targets and two end zone targets and can be uh, a, a, a great way to get exposure to this game that is a little bit uh, more value friendly for the week. My second stack for the week is on the other side of that dream game between the Cowboys and Chargers. And we also have a similar situation with a higher salaried and a lower salaried pass catcher. In this instance, the gap is a lot closer between the receivers. C.D. Lamb had a 15 target game, which was 26% of Dak Prescott's week one attempts. Lamb also had three end zone targets. Uh, Amari Cooper converted two of his 16 targets for touchdowns and also has a salary that's $1,000 higher than Lamb. So I'm going to prefer Allen in the Charger stack, but C.D. Lamb in the uh, Cowboys stack for this week. Michael Gallup also had a few weeks. Uh, Lamb and Cooper had a top three workload along with Tyreek Hill in week one. It's just a great situation. Dak Prescott had 403 yards on, yes, 58 attempts, but we know he can run the ball, had two red zone attempts. So you want exposure to this game. You want Dak Prescott. You want C.D. Lamb, but you also want some Amari Cooper as well. My third stack of the week solidifies a bit of a running theme this week with under salaried receivers and quarterbacks in situations uh, that are very ripe for fantasy points. The quarterback here is going to be Jalen Hurts, whose salary is still under 8,000 on FanDuel. Hurts went for 62 rushing yards, which is basically worth one and a half passing touchdowns in terms of fantasy points. Uh, his 0 .30 expected points per dropback as a passer was a top eight rate among week one starters. And the receiver in the stack here is Devontae Smith uh, at $5,600. That's still pretty low. Smith led all rookies and all Eagles with eight targets in week one. He led the Eagles with 33 routes as well, according to NFL's next-gen stats. You can ignore the red number one by the matchup next to Smith's name on the FanDuel player pool. The 49ers faced 11 targets to receivers in week one. The bigger point is that Devontae Smith received wide receiver one treatment and is paired with a Konami code quarterback who can break open the slate with his rushing ability. That'll do it for my favorite NFL stacks. Best of luck in week two. Let's double dip on those touchdown passes on Sunday. 